Hey guys, what's good? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Let's talk portfolio. I'm going to talk about what I think is the most effective portfolio you can, um, you can create. Uh, since I launched MLUX Academy yesterday, I've been speaking to so many different people, probably over seven or eight different people in regards to the portfolio. This topic has come up. In fact, I have a video right now on my site in my membership program called positioning yourself for success and in that I go into some detail in terms of uh, what type of work you should put on your portfolio but I want to touch on uh, this topic um, because the portfolio let me just say this uh, just to just as a foundation the portfolio is one of the most vital things I in the past I've actually had this podcast where I talked about your portfolio is your golden ticket into you know, getting recruiters looking at you, getting hiring managers interested in you, and so forth. Now, that the, that's the idea of the portfolio. The portfolio is basically just your body of work, okay? And so, when we think of portfolio, we think of a, a page with screenshots of the type of product design, UI, UX design work that you can do, right? And that's essentially what a, what a portfolio is. Um, but the portfolio can include other things, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but <clears throat> a couple of different topics I want to touch on. One, I, I was speaking to somebody yesterday and they were showing me their portfolio and they were saying how they were having trouble getting, you know, people interested in them. You know, they've been applying to jobs and whatnot and they wanted to, me to know if their portfolio was the issue. I looked at the portfolio and the portfolio, the, 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 the level of visual design skill, the level of UI design skill was there. Um, so in that particular situation, it, was, it wasn't about the portfolio and the, the level of work. It might be the type of work. So for that person, and I don't really know, I have to go into more detail. I would have to pry and ask more questions on what type of companies are you applying to? How long you've been applying? You know, have you gotten any calls or what have you? But the the type of work this person had was a couple different things. One, it wasn't even it wasn't even a personal portfolio. It was the Behance, okay? And on Behance, the body of work looked more like agency work. You had like long websites that looked kind of really nice and pretty, but in my opinion, these are like web designer type of stuff, right? Graphic designer type of work. And in, in that type of like long pages, like web design pages, the, this is more like agency work and they had, he had more agencies type stuff on there, like some, some graphics and print stuff. And so if you're asking me, you're trying to get into a UI UX design position, then you could probably see that your, your portfolio or your work that you have on your portfolio isn't lined up with UI UX design position type work. Like if you're trying to get a job at working at some software company, software as a service that, you know, some SaaS company, then you might you definitely want to make sure that your work is in line with the type of companies that you want to go after so if i want to get a job at like working for google um you know why if why would i be displaying you know graphic design type stuff on my my portfolio so a recruiter at google isn't interested in that per se for a product designer position they want to see that if I can think through things, if you know, if I worked on similar type of software and stuff like that, right? And and understand my thought process and building apps and and so forth. And so that's the type of work that you want to do. So you got to pick and choose. Me personally, I don't go for agency work. That's just me. In my opinion, agency agencies they they don't pay as well and they work you hard. The the upside is you have this amazing portfolio. You know, you you can show off Sony and Disney. <clears throat> and, and Nike and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, they lose one client, they're gonna lay you off. So I don't, in my position, in my opinion, I don't mess around with agencies type stuff. I go after big tech firms, tech companies, and that pay well, and that uh, is, is, is more in line with, with my, what, what I want, right? So that's just me. So line your, your portfolio work up with the companies you wanna work for, all right? If you have, if your website and, your, and the stuff you have on your portfolio looks like WordPress templates, then just know, like if somebody's looking for a designer that designed WordPress template type stuff, then you would be in line with that. But if someone's looking for, if your portfolio looks like WordPress templates and you want to get a job working for a tech firm, you know, come on, it's, it's common sense, right? So start to produce projects that align with the type of companies you want to go after. 
Lastly, somebody shot me an email yesterday, good question. Said, Mike, why doesn't your portfolio, the projects on your, on your site, have like descriptions, you know, like a, a case study? Um, very good question. Um, there's, there's a lot of variables at play in this. So, twofold. Number one, there are best practices for a portfolio. So if you display, <clears throat> if you display your body of work and you display it in the form of a case study, um, and I've never met you, I've never, I don't know who you are, I don't know your thought process, and you display, I see a, a nice images in, in your, your thought process, and it is displayed in a case study, it has more descriptions of the problem, and things you're solved, and all that stuff, that goes well for you, right? That's obviously the best, um, that's, that, that's the best case for a, a portfolio. But take, my, take myself, for example, or somebody in my position, um, somebody that actually has a job, right, that's working for some tech company. That, that person obviously has a, a work history, right, that I, if I'm a recruiter, I'm looking at that person, they have a work history, I know, oh, they work for Facebook, they work for LinkedIn, they work for, you know, Yahoo, they work for Google, right? <clears throat> so I kind of already assume that this, what I'm, what this person might be capable of, so when I go to that person's portfolio, I'm not looking for a full-on case study, right? Essentially, at my level, especially with me per se, um, that I have a, a long work history and I have a job and, and most recruiters and hiring managers, they see my YouTube videos. So my portfolio is shown through my, my YouTube videos, right? They understand my thought process. They're like, Mike knows a little bit of something about, about this, right? And so, though my portfolio is, is, is out of date and most people that actually have jobs, they don't update their portfolios. One, you can't show the work that you're, the companies that you're working with on the site. And so a lot of times, you know, we're not, you know, we're not focused on our portfolios because we have jobs, right? So most people that have jobs have out of date portfolios. That's just a given fact in this industry. Um, <clears throat> but if you're in the market, guarantee, if I was in need of a job right now and I was like, you know what, I'm about to get serious. I'm about to start looking for another company to work for. Guaranteed, I would, the type of work or type of portfolio that I would put out, I would put out quality, you know, application design work, and I would probably do a video like this, explaining the thought process behind each and every video, having like some like visuals display over the video, right, as I speak about it, right? And I would do that for each of one of my projects so that any recruiter, any hiring manager that went to my website, they saw that stuff, they were like, wow, Michael's cool, you know, like, he actually, I like his thought process as he speaks through these projects. So that's how I would do it if I was looking for a job, right? So, I mean, but my videos speak for themselves, so that that's, that's, that's a form of, of a portfolio, right? So when you're in a position where you have a job, your portfolio doesn't have to be that deep. And also, when you get hired at a tech firm, like Facebook or Google or whatnot, what they'll do is they'll, they'll reach out to me, and when they interview me, they'll give me a project so that I'll come go into that, their company, I'll work on this project, or I'll work on the project at home, they'll bring me in and have me explain my thought process throughout that project, if that makes any sense. So um, there's other ways that, you know, they're not gonna hire me without me sharing my thought process on how I do work and things like that, how I think through, through problems and stuff like that. So in a nutshell, my portfolio, me personally, isn't set up the way the best, what I would say you should have your portfolio set up. If, if, if no one knows about you, if I don't know about you, make sure that you display your thought process and your process to me to the point to where it's enough for me to make a decision and go, well, I like this guy. I like, I like her and um, you know, I wanna bring her in for an interview. So that's in a nutshell what a portfolio, how, uh, you know, what an effective portfolio should look like or should, should be like. And when it comes to the look of your website or your portfolio, that's irrelevant, right? That's a non-essential. It can be, it doesn't, that's why I'm not going into detail on in how it actually needs to look. I'm just talking about the concept, right? Um, you know, and so uh, keep that in mind, all right? But uh, don't wanna go on too long. Anyway, that's it. There's no right and wrong, but there's ways to obviously put yourself out there, put your thought process out there. If there's no other form or fashion of me knowing what your thought process is, it's always gonna be helpful in your portfolio, all right?
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to learn more about uh, product UI, UX design, check out my site, MLUX Academy. You can learn there and get started for free and start learning today. All right, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.